Hi there. Let's make maths a little less complex and a little more simple. So how to go about it? We'll start with straight lines from the NCRT for the basic fundas. Okay. So straight lines chapter basically is divided into three major portions that is slope, equations and distances. We are going to start with slope as it is the first portion and a main portion which constitutes or helps in building up the chapter. So what is slope or gradient? It is also known as gradient. Slope basically you must have heard in English or Hindi or other languages that uh, we what we call is slope of a hill or slope of a path kitna steep hai kitna slope hai so agar steep zyada hai chalne mein problem hai slope kam hai to problem hai agar slope zyada hai to easy hai so slope basically is inversely proportional to steepness but this was in terms of the language or we can say english so now what's slope in terms of mathematics slope in mathematics is denoted by m there are two methods defined here which help us determine the slope of a straight line now starting with the first method it gives us a line and its inclination with the positive direction of x axis that is theta here as we can see so now what is the slope of such a line theta ml here is the denotion for slope of line L which is equal to tangent of theta which is equal to perpendicular upon base. Though we are not going to use perpendicular upon base in most of the questions here, we directly know the value of theta, tan theta for some particular given values of theta. So we will be using that only in the whole of NCRT but we should know that it is also equal to perpendicular upon base as shown in the figure. So now let us move forward and see one example for a line making an inclination with positive direction of x-axis. So here according to the question we have a line here. So we will make up the whole Cartesian system. Then we will take up a line and draw the line here. So according to the given question the angle the line makes with positive direction of x-axis is theta which is given here to be 60 degrees. Now what is slope of the line L here. It is equal to tan of theta which means which is equal to tangent of 60 degrees. So what's ML? ML is the slope of the line L which is equal to tan theta which is equal to tangent of 60 degrees. You must have done it in trigonometry. The value of tan of 60 degrees is under root of 3. So here slope comes out to be 3. This is our answer here. We are moving ahead to the next topic that is the second method to find slope of a line. In this method, we have two points with their respective coordinates given which are located on the line L of which we have to find the slope. So now what is the slope of for such a case? The slope is ML is equal to delta Y upon delta X. So delta here means difference. So delta y means the difference in y coordinates and delta x means the difference in x coordinates. So it is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 or y1 minus y2 is upon x1 minus x2. But we should take care that this may never happen that y2 minus y1 upon x1 minus x2 or vice versa. That is if the above coordinates so the uh, y coordinates are from 2 to 1 then the x coordinates should also be from 2 to 1 or vice versa. There should not be anything like I just wrote on screen that is y2 minus y1 upon x1 minus x2 or vice versa. So this is also clear I guess. So we will take an example for this. Find the slope of the line passing through the points 1 comma minus 2 and 3 comma 4. So here we will make up a line and take up two points in it which is P and Q given to be respective with the respective coordinates 1, minus 2 and 3, 4. 
So what will be slope of PQ? It'll delta Y upon delta X. Now assuming this is X1 comma Y1 and this is X2 comma Y2, what we get is delta Y is Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. So slope here is 4 minus minus 2 upon 3 minus 1 which is equal to 6 upon 2 which is equal to 3. So now that's clear for today's lesson. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.